Hey, how's it going? Um, today we're going to learn about erotic erratic coding 34. It's basically just the 34 coats that um, you need to um, basically coat your whole body and to basically preserve yourself so you live forever. You know, at least in the physical norm where um, it's kind of like looking at uh, a titty or a belly or just a you know, a kind of a depth perceptionable, touchable little thing, you know, where we have you know, elevation levels and in the center of, you know, that area, you know, there seems to be the push pressure all the way down, but there are levels, you know, to something being pressed and it kind of goes with everything. But um, basically what this has to do with is just being able to have in whatever you do and whatever you say and has to do with saliva coating that there needs to be about 34 layers, I'd say. Um, that's really important um, <clears throat> to basically live forever um, in your senses. Because right now what I'm doing is I am uh, basically chamming through everyone. And I'm looking through and past people. And because of that, I'm starting to have problems. Because I'm using everyone else's gestures as everyone else to be me and them like if I'm everyone else everyone else is me everything's me and um, I'm everything you know by being me you know interacting with myself like if there was two gay people I have to be two gay people that are kissing if there's two is there a guy and a girl it still has to be me you know kissing me or with me doing what they are doing so I could see how bad it is and that's what I have to go through in order to really put myself back into a spot because I really wanted to see myself alive and looking a little bit better than I look today because I don't think I look very booty you know, I don't think I look very good. And um, so um, here's the coatings and um, all this goes by the song, Want em, I Got Em, Drip em Like Water by Snoop Dogg. And um, this was already encoded into his song if you've heard it, you know, probably about 30,000 times. Um, <clears throat> but it needs to actually be taken out of the song so you can see it, you know, because there's a lot of songs that have this in it, probably every song does, but it just kind of goes with it. So, um, saliva, booger, cum, pre-cum, shit, blood, tear, push, groom, clothes, sleep, pass out, meal, drink, relax, sex, awake, escaping, smelling, tasting, hearing, heart beating, chasing, art, pee, kiss, Lapsing, earwax, skin, and preferencing, origin, non-origin, pivot, frozen, save, preoccupy, counting, and gesturing. And that's the 34 codes. And um, so basically what we have is saliva that has to go over everything. What you do is you have to find two points that do not have um, like a way to connect. You know, like if I'm really thirsty and I'll talk for a long time about something and it makes my throat dry because of the effort that I had to put into the moment, um, then I know there it needs a saliva coat. Um, and when things get uncomfortable and I could be someone, you know, that does something that will cause me to have a dry throat or, um, you know, be too comfortable in an area, um, then I would have to learn how to coat over that. You know, um, the basic rule here is, um, it's basically saying, like, you know, if I was a slug and I had to put on lotion, you know, every day, you know, what could I use, you know, as the lotion? Like, if the lotion was this, you know, what could I use? You know, I have my full body completely coated and everything that I've done and everything that I remember and everything that I've ever had been, you know, coated, <laughs> you know, in that, you know. Um, so, um, it's just something you have to think of doing. Um, there's another rule that kind of has to do with it, and I need to make other videos about this stuff. But um, basically, it was about um, the... Uh, I've already talked about it before, and it, it was just that um, when you have an obedience body and a disobedience body, um, obesity you know, shouldn't be it. But um, basically, what it has to do with is not having to do with being fat. But it has to do with, um, you know, listening and not, you know, like if I'm sitting here 
you know, then I also have to be doing every other thing that, you know, I wouldn't be allowed to do, you know, and, um, you know, it's, it's basically just based on like, you know, if I took a person and had them like go in a room and, you know, search through everything and do everything that they would think that I wouldn't let them do, that I really wouldn't let them do. You know, like, um, you, know, you can't steal my clothes, you know, so somebody just comes in and fucking starts taking my clothes, but I stop them at some point, you know, to keep them in place, you know, so they won't, you know, steal all my shit, you know, and then they realize that and then they'll stop doing that, you know, but then they'll try to do something else in a different way, you know, and, um, you know, so, you know, just that type of thing is how you get to those little points, you know, because, Eventually, doing other things, you'll be able to do what you want to do. And that's a rule of motion, and it's a rule of communication. And, um, you know, that's the rule of obedience. You know, it's very important. And um, so you have to give yourself responses in order to get to these points. And, um, you know, Eminem is a great person to study because he's probably, you know, the smartest fucking person you know, this whole century, it looks like, you know, just on based on how he chooses his words. And it's like, you could pick this or this, you know, and um, one is going to be the thing you're not supposed to pick, you know, and the other thing is supposed to be the thing you're supposed to pick. And you're never going to, you know, be able to choose the thing you're not supposed to pick eventually because there are two steps. You know, you can't just be like, you know, um, you know I'm either going to, you know, shoot you or you're going to come over here and help me finish this and we'll survive. It can't just be two even things, you know, you can't say, you know, equals, equite, you know, you can't have a little pause that you can't have, you know, things that just don't fit, you know. And so, you know, when you say, when you have these two things separated and, you know, one thing could be on one side and one could be on the other, um, basically, um, you will be able to you know, by stalling your other self that is like trying all this other stuff, um, you can do what this is and do the coating on everything, you know, better. And so, um, booger, um, and oh, oh yeah. And, um, basically another thing about that is, um, <clears throat> like if there was a kid, me is what, what I'm basically kind of talking about and like a understanding me, you know, um, I mean, I know that, that, I think that that's still derogatory. I don't think it's right that the word kids should be used and that the adult me would be buildings. I don't think that that's really useful. That's not what I mean. So probably a different metaphor for that, but let's just say, you know, there's a me that is the method of, like, let's just say this is not what a child is, but just the way that, you know, if, if I am getting up and moving around and trying to go do something, you know, that there's something saying, you know, stay down, you know, st stay right there, you know, stay right here, you know, do this, stay comfortable, you know, focus on that. Um, <clears throat> and keeps doing it. And if I try to stop, you know, it'll push me back, you know, keep me where I am and, you know, try to get me excited, you know. And so there's just a constant force of me trying to escape where I am and there's something to try to keep me down. And, um, you know, when you learn, you know, the ways to cope with all of these things, you know, um, basically you realize that you have to do it in a way which, you know, a slug or a snail coats themselves with their um, coating. And it has to come out in a pleasurable way, kind of like if you don't cut yourself shaving. And it feels good and you're like, man, this feels so good. Like, I, I wouldn't want this form of pleasure, just the feeling of it. You know, if there was something else better, I could be to always, you know, be there. So, um, so we're at, you know, saliva, booger, you know, booger would be just having your boogers build up in this area and basically how there's a uh, up and down to it here, you know, because there would be a you that would be kind of floating up towards the ceiling. And then there would be a you that would be kind of like, you know, like pushing itself up towards the ceiling, you know? And because, you know, if you pick your nose and you just pick it, you know, it's not really a 
um, sexy to look at. It's not worth looking at at all. It's not worth seeing. It's not. It's not worth looking at. And um, it's still not worth it, you know. So the point is, is that you know your boogers um, have to not be picked by being picked. You know that that's how you get it to be really attractive. You know, and it's all supposed to be really attractive, and that way everything else has to pay attention to it and do what it says. You know, and that way you're not directly doing it, but you are. You know, and um. <clears throat> I mean, I guess that's all I can really say about that. Another thing I have to say is uh, somebody gave me a message and they said that they would pay me $10 a minute just to pick my nose. I mean, if I was picking my nose and I could give them a video of me just picking my nose. But I think what you mean is just like how this works right here. And it's just depth perception. And it's just, it's just looking at things that can happen. And, you know, I think I look like shit, you know. And um, anyway, <clears throat> well, then the next thing, you know, was come and it's just how you make it come out. It's just like what well, it knows, but it's another substance and just another way that that works. And then pre cum is another one because there needs to be precautions with information. It's how you get your pre cum. It's what the things you looked at were, the stories that you have about your life, other people that could be you um, as just landmarkers, you know, to um, kind of navigate around the circle. You know, to keep you in an area, you know, and um, then you have shit that you'd have to um, basically be able to understand the texture of, you know, uh, blood, tears. You have to be able to find the reasons to cry, you know, to coat your whole life with those tears and that it would say what you want to say. Um, push, you know, you have to be able to like push the areas and um grooming like you know i eat my dandruff because i think it's um different um but grooming you know could be the ways that you've combed your hair and stuff like that or brushed your teeth or didn't and i mean just the real thing that you're working on you know clothes uh what kind of clothes you wear um also the the texture of clothes um you can also look at it like clothes of being naked, you know, like you, you're just putting on clothes is actually putting on like body parts, you know, that could be clothing to you um, or armor. Sleeping, like if you could code every part of your life and sleep while you were doing everything else and you could actually go back and be like, you know, I'm wide awake, you know, like running and jogging, but I'm also like sleeping, like holding it and like kind of cuddling with the moment. That is better. And, um, you know, then passing out, um, being able to pass out, you know, through every moment of your life and um, just kind of repass out, coat everything with you passing out. So, you know, if you were driving in your life and you wanted to pass out, you know, you wouldn't have an accident, you know, and you'd be able to be awake and asleep, you know, and just to be able to have those areas where you know what those are, you know, is very important. And to do more layers of it, I mean, you know, I mean, just to look at it is just, it's very pleasurous. Um, a meal, you know, like the meals that you eat, you know, um, what requires you to be full. Um, that's another thing. Drinking, you know, what, what you've acquired to drink, you know, what would you want to drink? You have a preference. You have something you don't want and you have something you do want. You know, and I'm not saying that there isn't, you know, a good and bad, but I really am like saying that there is, you know, something that you do want and there's something that you do want that you don't want right now, you know, and you have to be able to kind of choose how that comes and how it doesn't. And if you don't want something completely permanently, then you really don't, you know, and that's a really good thing. It's a great thing um, to have. And... Uh, let's see what else. And then we have, you know, uh, relax, you know, ways you can relax. Sex, you know, ways that you can, you know, have sex with the moment. Um, you know, opening eyes, you know, is the same thing as spreading it. You know, when you use a pencil, you know, um, I'm sure sharpening that pencil. 
you know, would definitely be, you know, would be needed, you know, we're just using it, you know, and um, let's see what else we have here, we have here. Um, oh, <clears throat> you know, then, um, let's see, we have, you know, awake, you know, just being alert and, you know, not letting things like mess you up, um, being able to know what, what something is and that happens after something. And, you know, also before it's like pre-tracers and post-tracers, um, You have escaping, you know, getting away from, you know, something. You know, usually when you run, you put something behind you that, you know, can chase you or you put something ahead of you that you can look like you're chasing that you're running away from to go towards, you know, uh, maybe past it or something. And then smell, um, smelling and just, you know, getting rid of like residual things that could be, you know, like right in your face and, you know, things that you would not want in your face, you know, sort of like a fat chick that looks like a spider, you know, that's one thing I just don't like, you know, um, and mathematically, like, there's really, um, a global preference for sure, you know, so, um, anyway, um, Next, we have um, tasting, you know, and it's just the same thing, you know, probably taste meals, not not as much food in your mouth, don't taste the food in your mouth, you know, not something that someone says no to and you say yes to, you know, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, but you know what I'm saying. And, um, and then hearing, heart beating, you know, hearing what you were hearing, you know, it kind of emits a uh, negative frequency, you know, of what isn't heard yet you know, kind of is a sound. And um, to code everything with that, with uh, someone who would be like walking as you would be very important if there was a person who could be you 100%, you know. I'm sure there's a global person that would be, you know, 100%, you know, what it would be too. But I, I just think that, you know, further narrowing it down, this coding is for what you want to say, what you want to be, what you want to become, what you were part of. And, you know, the rest of that. And, um, <clears throat> so, um, next, uh, you know, heart beating is just the way that the heart beats because the rhythm of it's really important. And just the way that, uh, the volume, you know, of like a sound, you know, could actually have, you know, a louder sound, um, kind of enclosed in the heart, you know, boom, boom, boom could be, needs to be able to be louder than what else is around, you know, at those times. And you need to be able to do that, you know, you need to be able to have a louder heartbeat than everything. And without you being nervous and being like, oh, oh what's going on? And that's, that's what it is, it's just your grandmother fucking, oh, wow. You know, I'm, I told you to get rid of family. And, um, and then next, um, you know, getting rid of, uh, I mean, another one is chasing. And that's when, you know, you're trying to go after something and it's kind of different than escaping, you know. And then, you know, it's kind of like the two that I was talking about, you know, like, you know, staying in one spot and then, you know, getting out of that one spot with something useful and staying in that one spot with something useful was, you know, the goal of that. And then we have art, you know, which is just, you know, all the art that you make, what would it be? Put it in one spot, uh, peeing. You know, decode everything in piss and it not be disgusting is the point. Um, there's a lot of things that could have really nasty results, you know, like somebody with really tiny eyes, you know, that are like really disgusting looking and, you know, they look really disgusting because they're made of fucking disgusting piss. And then kissing, you know, is another thing to seal things with. Um, is just um, kissing the right things, you know, instead of kissing the wrong thing or kissing the wrong thing at the wrong time, you know, um, to complete something, you know, like you could just sit there and kiss chapstick, you know, until your mouth, you know, feels like it was built out of chapstick, you know, sort of what that would be like. Um, lapsing um, is just, you know, when you get up and do something again, you know, and you come back around and do something again. 
um, earwax um, has to do with just the way that it tastes when it's built up. What flavor did you try to make it be? What did you want it to be? And how did you use it? Um, it's all very important. And um, and then the next part, um, we have skin, you know, and it's, it's our skin and how it builds up. You know, how our skin can be used and how it can healthily be used. You know, you don't want your hand to be a piece of chicken that looks like Stephen Colbert. Now, that is just disgusting. I mean, just being forced to be up there and do all that stuff. I mean, just the way it looks to me, you know, I would not want to have, you know, skin that is, you know, like a piece of chicken or a piece of turkey. And you can just easily, you know, pull it like this, you know, and it keeps it up like that. Like the guy from American Pie. You know, or the stiffler person, you know, is just like, oh, yeah, I'll just take my little piece. <laughs> you know, and then that little sound resonance is really irritating and um, it produces, you know, something being done. Um, then the next part, um, We have uh, preferencing, and that's just when you choose something over something else, and basically to stay in, you know, the moment that you're in, and you know, continue, you know, with what you got, and also to make sure everything else has different preferences that you would at least have it rather have due to your location and things like that. Um, next thing is, um, well, another thing about it is just. Uh, kind of like a language, like if you could speak another language, uh, preferencing would definitely be that part. Like if you could say, you know, um, pillow and remote reminds me of getting things done, you know, and you're like, you know, PR, you know, sounds like something that not helped me remember it. So I'd have to think of something else. Maybe lazy people, you know, and number three or something would help me. You know, or just whatever it would be. I mean, but there has to be something there to help you prefer something and, you know, kind of speak a different language. Like, you know, how words recollect um, would be good enough, you know, is the word. Um, origin um, is the next part. And it's just where everything comes from that you've done. And, you know, it's like, it's also like where you're from, but it's also an abstract where you're from, like. I could say I'm from South Carolina, but I could also say I'm from somewhere else. I could say, like, I'm from where I wanted to be from. You know, and where you wanted to be from was where you came from, if that's where you, really where you were, if you could prove it, you know. Um, or if you kind of zoom out and look at where you were from in comparison to other places, you know, you could see that there's different places with the same area size. You know the same square area or there's different towns that have similar different towns there's also um places you came from that were situations and that those situations could be you know singled out and you could say well this and this is required for this situation and um so you know like if it was a you know like an argument about something that wasn't required you know um, then you wouldn't have to have it, you know, um, <clears throat> or, you know, if you had a, you know, something that's required is, you know, I prefer this, like I'm parts, I like to have a little bit of Spanish in me, to me, you know, a little bit of darker skin and, um, <clears throat> you know, and at least have the element of it, you know, and, so that's one of my origins that I get, got my source from. It's like if you had an art palette and you could say, where did I get my paints from? But you could also say, like, like what do these paints represent and what pieces am I really using, you know, to paint what I'm painting? And then we have the non-origin pivot, which is uh, really important. Uh, Non-origin pivot is just saying like, okay, here's me and my origins and here's something that I can go and be and then go off back to my origin and add more to my source that I'm pouring in. Like, not like a rain catch is just pouring all of these elements into with the coating so it can coat more, you know, of your life and of you and who you are, you know. Um, 
and non-origin pivot is a pivot point. You know, it's like if you see another person and you said, well, this is definitely not where I'm from and it's not where I wanted to be. So this is my non-origin pivot that I could be there and be that person, but wouldn't be that person at that point. And it's just the fact that, you know, um, it's like when you're answering yourself and, you know, you can look up or down or, you know, kind of like, you know, like, you know, you can say like, you can kind of go like this to understand something, or you can go like this to understand something. But if it looks stupid and you're like, mm, you know, and you're like, well, that, that doesn't look comfortable for me. And then you're like this and you're like, <laughs> you know, and you're like, well, you know, that doesn't look right on my face. It looks like I died. Like just doing that expression. It looks too impossible to do that expression. It is too impossible to do that expression. Those expressions are too tight. And um, they're too tight in one direction or too tight in another direction. And that's like having, you know, non-origins. And you're like, whoa, it sounds like orgy. <laughs> you know, that's not the point. You know, um, when there's when there's an origin, it's where something comes from. But when you have something that's not an origin, it's something that you don't want to become also. You know, so um, you have to be able to say, you know, I look like me. You know, when I'm describing this for this person, you know, who definitely does not want to be me. You know, that's why I am me and you are you. You know, you can't say, you know, God is all of us. So we're all part of just one huge penis fucking everybody and one fucking girl named Muhammad that's fucking everyone. You know, that's not the point, you know, because you don't want to just be one little piece, you know, of someone's hand that's just doing everything. And you're just a retard going, I, I look okay. You know, and that's all you say your whole life, you know, and it, you just have to have, you know, something that, you know, has your origin, you know, that that has its own origin when it's set like that. And you're all part of the same thing. You know, there's not supposed to be same thing, you know, when it comes down to that, you know, <clears throat> it's like something being made of aluminum and you're made of octane. You know, just because you can say aluminum and octane doesn't mean someone isn't or is going to say aluminum octane, you know, and then you'll find, oh, octane, okay, aluminum octane, that makes sense. No, it doesn't. You know, it might make some sense, but you don't have to wait that long when you have a non-origin pivot that you can understand with. You know, something that makes me look ugly when I feel like I'm making sense, you know. And obviously, world, you know, you're not fucking me good enough. <clears throat> You know, because I've hit some limits. And it'd probably be uncomfortable for me, too. Um, okay, so the next part is uh, it's called Frozen Save. And um, it's basically when, uh, let's say, you are stuck in a spot. And kind of like a cat will just move and turn its head one time. Um, it's basically when cops or blinkers and you know you're sitting there and you're frozen in one spot or someone says your name hey how's it going and you're in one spot and you're kind of frozen and you save where you're at at that point when you save where you're at um when you're like whoa wait a minute wait a minute let me just stop time right here and pause this fucking moment this grossing moment you know um and then the next one is uh yeah, but what you want to be able to do is like make make sure that your frozen is what you want it to be. You know, like you you want it to be where you know it's something that you freeze. You know, so you can be like, all right, this is me stopping here. You know, so I'm stopping myself here. You know, is the point. And then I, I can save my moment. So you want to be able to do that with everything. You know, when you stop and think, when you close your eyes and you recollect something said. I'm like yes, and then you understand, you know, that's the point. And um, and then the next part is um, it's, it's preoccupied, and it's when you know you're doing one thing and then you decide to do another thing. And um, it's pretty easy to understand that you can preoccupy yourself in one area, and then you can go and preoccupy yourself in another area, and you can be preoccupied in like what five different areas doesn't really have that high of a number of things to preoccupy yourself with being an individual. I really don't think there would be that much to choose from, really. Um, next, you know, we have uh, counting 
And that's just, you know, how you count your numbers. You know, I'm like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. You know, and see the way that I counted mine could be different than how you do yours. You could also do different ways you count. You could be like, you know, 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You know, and you'd be like, well, that's easy. You know, you just stick two in there and you put five over here and put three over there. You know, and just the way that people learn, I mean, the way that you count is the way that you count, you know. Um, but it's also the way that we count. It's the way that the counting is. It's when you look at your counting, it's me looking at your counting. You know, that's the point. You know, it's not like your counting is now my counting, you know. But it's very important because, uh, you know, counting, you know, I mean, sometimes, you know, I just did that how many times you could be like, well, I thought that it was three, you know, but I was really serious about that. You know, that's kind of the point there is that that was four when I went, you know, but you could be like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you don't say, you know, two there, you know, I think it'll help me. You know, I think it will do some good, you know, really, really, really will. You know, then that's kind of something that's what that that's the point of that. You know, um, but to be able to count it is the point, you know, it would be like three and then four, you know, how you would remember it then, you know, is what that would be with the counting. And then we have uh, gesturing and it's basically just um, making gestures of what to do, you know, not like doing it now, not, not like I'm ready now, you know, this body is talking, let's fuck, seems to be what I'm doing with right now. But when you have gesturing, you know, um, it's just basically that, you know, you can use different things, you know, to kind of describe something. And, you know, you could say, you know, like if I'm using a mouse, I could be like, and then use the mouse. You know, I could be like, well, I know what this does, you know, or just any kind of really cool looking gestures, you know, that has to do with like what you're doing. Like, it's like, I'm going to walk outside and you're like, and then you just get up and go. That's a gesture before you go outside. You know, so it's like a gesture before you do something. You could do a gesture after something. You could do a gesture while you do something. You can picture letters. You can picture signs. You can picture all kinds of things. Anything. You can have a whole fucking movie as one gesture of what you do. But the point is that you have to make those things, you know, and it needs to be done. So um, that's it. Um, we'll just go ahead and um, go with uh, one of my got them dripping like water. And the fact that, you know, you have a downwards and upwards, which I kind of explain. And that if you had like, if you take two, I mean, this is just a physics that goes with it. If you go and like you take a, uh, like a shaving razor. And you take the two little pieces out of it, like it's got like three and one, it'd be like triple, whatever, Mach three, or whatever. Take out two of the blades and then hold them up like this. And then see how that fat, flat feeling feels when you blow on it. You know, and just how that feels, you know, when you just have that and you can just hold it and blow into it and just look at, you know, how uncomfortable it would have been if you were God which or Jesus or the devil, which is just him hornier, um, you know, and just how it would be talking to people in America, you know, because you spread someone's ass and then talk into it, you know, and just how that would feel like not right, you know, and then so then we learn how to clean ourselves up in that area. And then we look at the fact, you know, that changing diapers all over the place should not be such commonplace that I have to feel like I am the man who is just diaper and shit. You know, and that that is supposed to be impressive as lettuce, and it's not. And um, and then the next part, you know, is that um, <clears throat> you know, um, well, I mean, that the physic of a vent, you know, in a car, like you know, if you have your air conditioning vent, and you can just kind of turn it, and it kind of angles up and down, it's in a little, you know, area, you know, where it can just kind of have air come out feels really good with information. Also, we have a bloodstream, you know, that has information, you know, going from one point to the next point and then coming back around. And um, so having, you know, two razors that you can like kind of blow into or look at, 
you know, on a blood scale, you know, or on a uh, thought scale, you know, is really important, you know, to instead of have it where one thing goes downwards and then one thing goes upwards or one thing like, you know, like I said, like agreeing this way and then agreeing this way, you know, you don't want to have two forced, you know, expressions here. You know, we're like, yes. And you're like, no, you know, and stuff like that. Because it looks really bad, and you know, it makes my head look like broccoli. It looks like shit. You know, it looks really bad, and um, you know, I don't like that. You know, I think it's very near and near. I, mean, I speak Latin. You know, just really, I don't like this. You know, and I'm also like to say that you know, basically, this shit right here, you know, will kill Stephen Hawking. You know, and get rid of just. just I'm a transgender that uses a computer and I like to pay my money. And he's got this square looking face. It's like, ee. you know, and it's just so disgusting. You know, I just wanted to say that. I just feel like I'm making a mess everywhere. But anyway, this is a song. It's called Candy. I think it just. I think it does. It just says it right there. It says erotic, erratic, code 34. Erotic, code 34. Erotic, erratic. Erotic, erratic. And I just thought erotic and erratic, you know, we just keep going with it. You know, so obviously good. Oh, I think here's waxing. You're waxing. Take this. That was like the whole thing right there. And I just like it because I just like to be candy to dripping like water. It's like, it's like she wants me, but she has me dripping like water. I just like that.
to the side of the road. Mm. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, that's probably good enough. But anyway, that song definitely talks about it because candy coats things, you know, it coats um, everything, you know, candy, you know, coats things, you know, it's like the candy paint coats a car, you know, it's really fun to understand that too. Especially if you had words to say, you know, I think that would have been nice. <laughs>